The Solution Editor allows you to define and document your high-level decision requirements and to author decision logic. I will show you how to create a decision that determines the level of risk that a customer will not pay back a loan. To get started, drag and drop elements on the canvas and add their dependencies to create a decision requirements diagram, or DRD. A decision element represents a decision that must be made. An input data element represents the information that must be available for the decision. A business knowledge model element represents the decision logic, such as a decision table, decision tree, or function. A knowledge source element represents who is responsible for governing or maintaining the data. Next, create the business terms you will use to author the decision logic in the default business term library. I won't go into detail about business terms in this video, but for more information, you can watch the business terms video or see the documentation. Once the business terms have been published to the solution editor, the parameter and output drop-down menus in the input data and business knowledge model elements properties panels will contain the business term sets. The next step is to define the decision logic in the business knowledge model element. Select the type of decision logic and set the output and parameters. Here is the completed decision requirements diagram. This decision is one of many decisions that must be made in the DRD. The final step is to create a decision service. You can then deploy the solution with a Spark job. For information on each of these steps, watch the videos or refer to the documentation.